Today's high temperatures were in the low 70s, and it felt like spring weather outside. But on this day, 18 years ago, it was a very, very different story. That is when a fast-moving winter storm brought Raleigh to a standstill. Here's meteorologist Lance Blocker with a look back. On January 19, 2005, a weak upper-level system moved through North Carolina. It produced flurries and light snow showers. In total, RDU recorded less than an inch of snow. And that may not sound like much, but it was just enough to wreak havoc across the triangle. As soon as the snow began to fall, many schools and businesses closed at nearly the same time, and the sudden influx of vehicles on area roads quickly turned the light dusting of snow into a dangerous sheet of ice. The ice was a whole different story, and it hit so fast that we were crawling at, you know, 10 minutes, you would go 100 yards. And I remember the kids were in the back of the car watching the same video, the cat in the hat, over and over and over again. And three hours later, um, we were on Wade Avenue. Even though they were stuck in their car for hours, Catherine said it could have been much worse. I think in that regard, it, we were a lot luckier than other people that had to um, stay overnight in grocery stores and, and at schools. Gridlock remained in place the rest of the day and through the overnight. In fact, hundreds of Wake County students were forced to spend the night at their school. Police also responded to well over 1,000 calls for accidents across a 14-county area, including Wake County, where most of the traffic problems were concentrated. Jerry said the experience changed the way she prepares for winter storms in the south. One thing I always do is to make sure I'm never on empty. In Minnesota, we always had to have like a candy bar, candlelight, a blanket, and I do have provisions in my car just in case. And one more piece of advice. Don't go out on the roads if you don't have to. The good news is we don't have any chance of significant snow in the forecast. And yes, that includes light snow and flurries. And of course, we'll keep you updated if that changes. For CBS 17 News, I'm meteorologist Lance Blocker.